hello and welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to review these zara perfumes that i got recently i'm loving them in various ways and i got them after taking inspiration that these are dupes for famous high-end luxury perfumes so if you're interested in smelling luxurious while staying on a budget then this is the right video for you so i'm I'm going to review the first perfume now. Uh, this is Zara Pink Flambe. Each of this bottle is a 30ml bottle that I got because it was the first time I was trying each of these. So I was not sure which one I would like. Uh, what I liked is that it, they come in a bottle of 10ml, 30ml, 90ml and 180ml. So you can get these travel friendly bottles because they're small enough. These 30ml bottles or even 10ml bottle. They can fit in your carry-on bags, in your handbags, so they are very travel friendly and you can top up and freshen up your perfume on the way. So that is something I liked. These are simple uh, looking bottles, nothing special about the designing I would say. So now I'm going to talk about the main thing. The Zara Pink Flambe is a closed dupe for Viva Le Juicy by Juicy Couture. So yes. So that is a that is not so expensive, I would say, but that is a famous perfume and with a very good sensual feminine fragrance. And this smells like Viva La Juicy from Juicy Couture. You need to try it if you are on a budget and you need a dupe for Viva La Juicy. So this is what you should purchase. So far, I'm loving it. I've uh, used like maybe less than half of it uh, in like a few days. So I can surely say I will purchase the full sized bottle in the future. The notes, if I see, uh, I saw that online, the notes, fragrance notes vary somehow, but the amalgamation of the notes is uh, in such a way that when you smell it uh, side by side with Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy, it actually smells the same. The longevity is however less than the uh, Viva La Juicy because it is in UD toilet. So this is, I got it for 49 dirhams and it was not on sale. I got it for, this is the full price, original price of this. Uh, whenever the Zara comes on sale, it goes out of everything on Zara, I would say, goes out of stock uh, stock really fast. So I got it for the uh, full price and which was not uh, too much, I would say. It, it is a good dupe of a high-end fragrance in a very good price, I would say. So the second I got this uh, Orchid and Gardenia both of these i got it in this packaging in a duo set and i got it for 65 the six has gone so not five obviously so 65 dirhams and uh, you see when you get a single packaging uh, you get uh, it for 50 49 dirhams but when you get it in a duo set you get it two perfumes uh, of 30 ml each in 65 dirhams so yes so it uh, reduces the price to almost half that's what i love i couldn't find the duo packaging of any of these so i got them separately but this one i got and i just got my hands on it the uh, set so if you purchase things in set you know generally uh, even the uh, the mascara and the eyeliner sets uh, when we, we are purchasing makeup they do uh, help us to save something even without the sale so I'm going to talk about Zara Orchid now. Zara Orchid is uh, the dupe for Victoria Secrets Bombshell. Yes, it smells like Victoria Secrets Bombshell. That's true. And uh, I don't own, own any of these perfumes, but I have purchased, I have like uh, smelled them and tried them in Sephora and other perfume stores. And I have sm uh, like tried the, these, these ones side by side. Yes, it smells like this. And the plus thing is the longevity of uh, Orchid is somehow longer than um, Victoria's Secrets bombshell. So, and uh, I'm not the per first person you'll come across well, uh, tell who is telling you about these Zara 
perfumes and there are, there are dupes of famous high-end perfumes uh, you can see many other reviews as well online and that was my inspiration how i got to know about these perfumes and i got my hands on it so next i'm going to tell about zara gardenia zara gardenia is a dupe for ysl black opium yes and uh, it does smell like that not same i would say it's a closed dupe not exactly the same the longevity here is again not as much as the ysl black opium has but uh, yes it is close and well staying well you're lo looking for a dupe and staying on a budget and smell like uh, how the black opium does uh, so this is a very close dupe for black opium from ysl next i'm going to review this zara deep garden this is i guess my favorite out of these four so the zara deep garden is i like the cap of this this like the bottle cap is a mint colored minty blue i like it is i think it's a pretty bottle out of these four so this zara a deep garden that is um a dupe for my favorite perfume which is carolina herrera good good i had a sample of that in the past and i used it up quite quickly it was so good such a good feminine floral fruity scent and more on the sensual side i will say like it is an amalgamation which is more on the sensual side more ladylike it's not for young young girls it's it is or teenagers it is more for ladies if you want to smell like a lady how that's how i will put it so this is a dupe for carolina herrera good girl and uh, oopsie sorry it uh, again retails for 49 dirhams and i like the packaging of it most uh, maybe i think because of the color matches the box and if you have tried any of these or there are so many other zara perfumes uh, they their zara is kind of famous for making these the dupes of famous fragrances the luxury or designer fragrances if you have any experience of using any of these or any other zara perfumes and you found more dupes or you found the similar ones that i have shared you can share your experience and i will be looking forward to your uh, comments and if you like this video please do subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next review take care of yourself bye bye